Hello students, last class we discussed the searching techniques, linear search and binary search. In binary search, we done the binary searching operation on sorted list. So, the prerequisite for doing the binary search is our data must be in sorted order. Okay. So, today we are going to discuss some sorting techniques. Okay. In previous video classes, I have already introduced you to sorting process. What is sorting? Arranging elements in some ascending or descending order. Okay. So, uh, in that you had uh, two classification internal sorting, external sorting. I have already told you what is internal and external sorting, whichever sortings are coming under uh, internal sorting and external sorting. So, in your syllabus, you have three sorting techniques. First one, insertion sort. Second, Selection sort, third one, quick sort. So, you have sorting techniques more than this as I uh, introduced you in the last classes, ok. But in your syllabus, we are going to cover only these three uh, sorting techniques, ok. So, first we discuss on insertion sort. You can guess that the elements are getting inserted at the appropriate position during each iteration. Okay. Uh, let me uh, demonstrate with an example. Okay. Consider the set of data. Okay. Now, we are going to perform the insertion sort. So, um, how you can see how uh, the insertion sort is performed on this set of data. So, first thing what you have to do is you have to compare the first element with the second element. So, when you compare you find that 17 is less than 25. So, bring 17 to the position of 25 and shift the remaining elements towards the left. So, 25, 31, 13 and 2. Okay. Next after this is the output of the first iteration. Next step you have to compare 31 with 17. So, when you compare you find that 17 is less. So, you are not performing any operation. Then 31 is compared with 25. So, 25 is again less than 31. So, again there is no operation. Next iteration, so this is the, this is the output of first iteration, this is the output of second iteration and third iteration you have to compare 13 with 17. So, when you compare you find that 13 is less than 17. So, 13 comes here and the remaining is shifted. Okay, then next this is output of the third iteration. Next you compare 2 with 13. So, you find that 2 is less than 13. So, you bring 2 to this position and shift the remaining elements. Okay. So, this is your output of your insertion sort and you found that uh, after fourth iteration you got the elements in the sorted order. So, how many number of elements you have in this data? You have 5 elements. So, you need n minus 1 passes or iteration to get the sorted output from the insertion sort. Okay. So, the disadvantage of uh, insertion sort is advantage it is very simple, but the disadvantage is you can apply this insertion sort to a small data list and your data list must be uh, relatively in uh, some sorted order. Okay. Uh, 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 if your data set is completely random then insertion sort will not uh, work efficiently. You, it, you will get the sorted list, but it takes some time. Okay. So, it works uh, only for small data set and 
One more big disadvantage is for each insertion, you are shifting the elements towards the right by one position. So, that is the overhead in insertion sort. Okay. Hope I have made clear about insertion sort. So, your each iteration you are comparing one element with the other and if you find it is less, you will swap it and the remaining element uh, not swap, you will replace that element with the uh, compared element and remaining elements are shifted to the right. So, we have completed insertion sort. Next, we are going to proceed with selection sort. So, we will take the same data set. Okay. So, we will take this data set to perform the selection sort. So, how selection sort work means? First, you have to take the first element and compare the first element with the remaining elements in the array. Okay. Whenever you find an element less than the first element, you here you perform the swap. Whereas in insertion sort, what you are doing when you are comparing, if you found smallest element, then the smallest element will be replaced in the position of the element which is compared and after that the other elements are shifted to the right. But here you will compare your first element with the remaining elements of the array. Then whenever during the comparison, whenever you find uh, element smaller than the first element, then you make a swap. Okay. At the end of the first iteration, you get the smallest element in the first position. Okay. So, follow me. So, first I will take 25, compare this 25 with 17. Here, 17 is less. So, 17, swap it. So, you get 17, 25, 31, 13 and 2. Then, compare 17 with 31. So, 17 is less, so there is no swap. Then compare 17 with 13. You find that 13 is less than 17. So, swap it. So, 13 comes in the place of 17 and 17 will comes in the place of 13. The remaining element as it is you have to write. Now, compare 13 with 2. So, 2 is less, so swap it. So, 2 comes in the place of 13 remaining element as it is you have to write ok. So, this is your output of first iteration. At the output of the first iteration what happens the smallest element will be fixed in the first position of the list. So, 2 has come to the first position as we are uh, doing the ascending order ok. Now, Remaining, for the remaining set of elements, you have to proceed the same thing, okay. So, now we will take 25, 31, 17, 13. Again, you will proceed with the same step for this set. So, you compare 25 with 31. So, 25 is less, so no swapping. Then you compare 25 with 17. So, 17 is less, so swap. Then you compare 17 with 13, 13 is less, so you swap it, ok. Now what happens, 13 has, 13 which is the least element in this list has come, ok. So the first position has 2 and the second position has 13 and the next again this is your output of second iteration. Again, do the same process with the remaining set. So, take 13, compare with 25. So, here it is less, so swap it. Then take 25, compare with 17. So, it is less, swap it. Okay. So, you got the next smallest element. Then after that, so this is your output of third iteration ok. Now, 31, 25 compare 31 with 25. So, you get 25 and 31 and you have reached the end of the 
list. So, what will be the outcome? The first element is 2, next 13, next 17, 25 and 31. So, this is your output of fourth iteration. At the end of the fourth iteration, you got the sorted output. Okay. So, here also like insertion sort, you require n minus 1 iteration to get the sorted list. So, here you have n as 5. So, n minus 1, uh, 4 iterations are required for sorting your data in ascending order using selection sort. Okay. So, selection sort, you select the first element, then you compare with the other elements. At the end of the first iteration, you get the smallest item in the list in the front position. Then exclude that and take the next element, compare it with the remaining other elements. Again, at the end of the second iteration, you get the next uh, element in the second position. Okay, like on you have to go till you reach the end of the array. Okay, students, we uh, just now discuss selection sort. So the disadvantage of selection sort is here also you can apply the selection sort to the small data list. Okay. And one more thing is selection sort is slow than insertion sort. Why? Because you have lot many comparisons in each iteration. Okay. So, selection sort is comparatively slow than, slower than insertion sort. Okay. Next type of sort is quick sort. As the name indicates, it is the fastest sorting technique. So, to do this quick sort, you have to follow some four steps. The first thing is you have to choose one element in the given data as the pivot element. Okay. Then after that fix i and j such that i is pointing to the first element and j is pointing to the last element of the list. Okay. Now you have to move i in the forward direction until you find an element greater than the pivot element. Now you have to move the j in the backward direction until you find an element less than the pivot element. And that position, when you find such an element, you stop the movement of i and j. Now you compare the position value of i and j. If i is less than j, then you are going to swap the elements of a of, uh, a of i and a of j. Okay? If i is greater than j, then you are going to swap the element a of j and pivot. Okay. So, let, let me demonstrate you with an example. So, take this uh, data. In this data, uh, I have marked uh, the array index 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, etc. I am taking 40 as the pivot element and I am fixing i in the first element that is excluding the pivot. This is the first element. So, 20. Uh, below this 20, I am fixing this i. Then j is pointed with the last element of the list. Now, you have to move this i in the forward direction until you find an element greater than 40. So, 20 it is less. So, move to the next element. 70 it is greater. So, I will stop here. So, now your new i position is here. Now, j you have to move in the backward direction until you find an element less than your pivot element. So, 30 it is less. So, I stop here. Now, the j position is 7 and the i position is 2. Now, i is less than j that is 2 is less than 7. So, in that position what you will do? You will swap a of i and a of j. So, that means you will swap this 70 and 30. So, what will be the output? You get 20, 30 and in the place of 30 you write 70. The remaining elements you write as it is. Okay. Now, your i is here and j is here. Now, again you do the same process. So, you move i to the place where you find an element greater than pivot. So, our pivot is 40. So, 30 is less. So, you move here. 14 is less. So, you move to the next element 60. So, this is your new position of i. Now, your new i is pointing to 60. 70 uh, that is j is pointing to 70. You have to move j such that you find an element less than your pivot. 70 is greater. So, you move here. 97 is greater. So, you move here. 67 is greater. You move here. 60 is greater. So, you move to 
this position. Now this is my new position of J. Now I compare. So here you have stopped. I is stopped here and J is stopped here. What is the I position? It is 4 and J is it is 3. So in that time you check I is greater than J. So that time what you have to do is you have to swap the element 14 and the pivot. So you get 14, 20, 30, 40, this is my pivot, 60, 61, 97 and 70. Now what happens? Once you swap your pivot and the A of J value, now you got two partition. That is your pivot has brought to this position and towards the right you have elements greater than the pivot. Okay. And towards the left you have less than pivot. All the elements towards the 40 is greater, see 60 is greater, 61 is greater, 97 is greater and 70 is greater. And towards the left of 40, you find elements less than 40. So all these 14, 20, 30, everything is less than 40. Now you got two partitions, you have to apply quicksort to this partition as well as quicksort to the left partition. So you will recursively apply quicksort to the left partition and the right partition. Same way you have to proceed. At the end you get the sorted list. Okay. So, this is what is quicksort. It is the fastest technique compared to the other sorting techniques. Okay. So, that is all. You, we have learnt insertion sort technique, selection sort and quicksort technique. Thank you.